people could just focus on the on the studying process and on the exams without working, if they could do that, I think that's best because it just it will increase the chance of passing again. But if you have to work and do AFK because like you have to, you need to, um, you need a source of living, mm -hmm. then it's it's very doable. Like I know a lot a lot of students that just work and and do AFK and pass and pass. But it also depends on other things. Like if you don't have a lot of time, if you have a lot of responsibilities, plus you're working and your job is tiring, and then you come back home and you can't study, um, and you're trying to do AFK. Uh, in that case, you're lowering your chance of passing. It's a little bit more difficult to do it that way. If you're only working and doing AFK but you have more time, let's say you have an easy job or a job that allows you to maybe study while you're at the job. Like I knew a person that, or I had a student that was a security guard, so he could just sit down in his car. He was at a construction site and he could just sit down there and study. So that's, that's kind of ideal for the situation because he could study, right? Um, so that's not bad. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So you can do it, it just depends on how much time you have and how tiring the job is.